Hello my soccer universe. The Austrian Bundesliga is celebrating its 50th season since its founding in 1974 and I decided to use this occasion to actually talk a little bit more about Austrian soccer which is something I wanted to do for a long time. And while I've been toying with that, I've always thinking how should I do it? I decided actually it's relatively easy this season. Um, I will talk about every team ahead of their home game when they come to Linz to play Lusk. And the first fixture of the Bundesliga back in the day in 1974 was actually Lusk against Rapid. And this is also the first fix fixture of this 50th season. And I find it rather fitting to start my journey through Austrian soccer, although I have already made a few videos, especially Lusk Centric, which is my team, to start it with the team that is by far the biggest and by far the most polarizing team. It's a true love or hate team. And I don't think anyone else can claim that in Austria. Let's start with the raw facts uh, for Rapid. Rapid were had actually two founding dates. They were founded in 1897 as the first Vienna Workers Club or Arbeiter Club. Uh, but after some, let's say, not so rosy results in that period, they actually had a crisis meeting and in 1899 they refounded themselves, early 1899, as Eska Rapid Wien in honor of a Berlin team that had a very similar name. Uh, the club's colors at the time were actually red and blue, which are still featuring and only a few years later the uh, club featured to the now famous green and white jerseys mostly striped like the one up there but there have been variations over the years but i have to say uh as we will talk rapid is a very much a, a club that is very uh fond of its traditions they keep the founding colors very much alive in terms of away jerseys but also the fans usually display their green and white banners with a tinge of red and blue as well which admittedly is a rather nice color com com combination that you also see throughout Vienna if you just travel to Vienna and so on. Speaking of traveling to Vienna, if you travel from Linz in the west towards Vienna and you enter the city, the Stadium of Rapid is one of the first true sites that you will see. They are based in the 14th district now in the part that's called Hütteldorf. The district is not called Hütteldorf at the end of the U4 station of the same name that also bears the same color in green as the club does. I'm not sure if this coincidence or it was planned. So if you know anything like that, I would like to know a little bit about that uh, below as well, but I always found it curious. Uh, the current stadium has been newly built in 2014. It's a really nice st stadium and also enabled Rapid to move at least financially in a completely different uh, level. Because when I started watching, uh, Rapid were in really, really financial trouble. That is definitely gone. Now, um, Rapid, as I already said in, in Inter, are the most successful club in terms of championships in Austria. They have won the Austrian Championship a record 32 times. No other team is coming even close. They have also been runners up multiple, multiple, multiple times. They also won the Austrian Cup 14 times and lost the final an incredible 15 times. So more often than they won it. Actually, the last cup wins is from 94, 9, 95. So there's a little bit of bane of theirs. They really would like to win that cup again. Because the last time they reached the cup, they, uh, they won the cup. They actually managed then in the Cup Winners' Cup to reach the final and lose it to PSG, which was their second appearance after 1985, where they, after some really glorious games, only lost to Everton in the final there. Uh, they also have won a Mitropa Cup in the 1930s, which was kind of, kind of a precursor to the um, European Cup. Um, so they won that, I think, against Sparta Prague. And most prominently, I want to say, they are the only team not residing in the current boundaries of Germany to have been crowned German champions, which was in 1941, which is on a sporting merit, probably one of the biggest triumphs in their history. 
Now, when it comes to their fans, uh, they are the traditional workers club team from Vienna, uh, which immediately tells you that they have a very rabid and very hardcore fan base. They are also an extremely well supported club, not only in Vienna, but all over the country. There are repeat fan clubs in almost every um, state of Aust Austria, but you know, most not notably in the northern and eastern uh, half of the uh, parts of the country. Um, to the point that whenever Rapid is traveling to an away game, there surely is a fan club close by. They are, of course, also a members club and count, I think, almost nearly 20,000 members, meaning that the members alone could fill the stadium, which is the highest in Aust Austria. And of course, the members have also quite some power there. They're also home of the oldest ultras grouping. Um, I think founded in the uh, mid to late 80s, uh, the Ultras Rapid, which are still very much prominent and one of the few ultra groups that have regular TFOs, choreographies, everything uh, there. Uh, Rapid fans are also known for one very partic particular and peculiar tradition, which is called the Rapid Viertelstunde or the last, the Rapid Quarter Hour which means that in the last 75 minutes, they actually encourage the team to remind themselves of, of the tradition. Uh, they are a club that always fights to the end and fights back and wins games late, usually in the last 15 minutes. It's the proverbial Rapid Viertelstunde, uh, which dates back to the um, 1910s. So this is a tradition that's over 100 years old. It's usually... Um, announced by rhythmic clapping in exactly on the 75th minute for a full minute with chants and so on. Uh, it is something that is very, very unique. But while it might be only happenstance, there have of course been numerous documented uh, occasions that repeat are turning games late. As a statistician, I know this is just folklore, but they keep that one alive. Now, um, my my thought on the Rapid fan base is, as I say, very well supported, fervent support. They count the club as a religion and even to the de 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 detriment of not even wanting to have the national team being hosted in their own stadium. Uh, and that is all good, good and well, but unfortunately Rapid Ultras are already known for uh, not shying away from uh, violence either. And also, unfortunately, some of their songs are still very much from yesteryear and very, um, how to say, offensive here and there as well. So that is the kind of the, the good comes with the bad there. Now, looking over the history of Rapid, it is definitely a case of past glory. I give you here a graph of the positions of Rapid ever since they started in the Austrian League, which before the war was, of course, a purely Viennese League, which is also another peculiarity of Austrian soccer. Uh, and you can see they're not only the most successful club, they're also the first ever champion. They won the first two championships. Uh, in the Aust Austrian or then Viennese League. Um, what really, really stands out is that before the founding of the Bundesliga, they have won a total of 25 titles and only seven since. That has to be mentioned. The glory years for, 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 for Rapid are definitely early 1910s, so very much during the founding years, but also in the 1930s, and especially in the 1950s. And I'll show you here now a second graph, which is the ELO rating, where you can see in the early 1950s, Rapid Vienna was one of the best clubs in Europe. Even in the inaugural European Cup edition, Rapid were going toe to toe with Real Madrid, losing away from home by two goals, but beating Real, this the great Real Madrid team, three one at home with a hat trick by defender Ernst Tappel. Uh, and then only there was to be a deciding game, which of course uh, Madrid more or less bought as a home, home home game. That's why they got eliminated. But at that point, Rapid Wien was one of the best teams in Europe. They also made one European Cup semi-final in 1961, losing out to Benfica, a team that was back then thought of that they should be easily beaten. Now we know how legendary this Benfica team was. However, 
Rapid fans didn't take ear lightly to to that and resulted in the first recorded riot in a European tie. So it's also a not so glorious part of uh, Rapid's history of Euro or European Cup his history. Unfortunately for Rap Rapid, they really hit them the doldrums. Uh, it was a slight down as it was for Austrian soccer in general. And they had a really drought in the 70s where they didn't win a single title, came back in the 80s. And uh, for me, this drought is remarkable because some of the most notable players, in particular Hans Krankel, uh, played during the period for Rap Rapid win. And I was really surprised that they actually didn't win a title. However, in the 80s, they had again four championships. That was their first Bundesliga titles. And as I already mentioned, they made also their first European Cup final appearance, losing, of course, to Everton. But ever since, it has been rather hit and miss. Hit and miss to the degree that the last title is from 2008. And Rapid has not always been a wealthy club. They always have been a well-supported club, but they had their ups and downs. And um, a big part of it is that the Austrian Bundesliga only recently had a big resurgence and also infrastructure got better. However, Rapid was always a big, big team. Um, the one thing is Rapid probably has the second highest budget behind Salzburg, well behind Salzburg. I mean, 50% uh, or less of Salzburg's budget but they have more than many other teams in the league. They have the second highest. However, this does not reflect on the field because for all their past glory, this is held so high. And the only thing that Rapid fans want to see is to A, the team has the Rapid spirit, fighting spirit, rough, you know, never give, 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 give up. Not necessarily a beautiful play. They take it as a byproduct, pro product, but you need to have the right values. But that is not an identifiable style of play. And the other thing is you want to be the complete opposite of the new commercial soccer that is uh, propagated by Red Bull Salzburg. And that is highly successful on the field, not so much off the field. And so you have kind of this uh, weird tension that Rapid Wien is the biggest club in Austria, but they're barely winning titles because they're stuck too much in the past. Rapid does everything for the past. I personally have not been yet, but I actually wouldn't mind. They have a museum uh, in the new state stadium that I've heard is a really interesting museum. If you're interested in history of soccer in Austria, probably the finest in Austria for, uh, for, for, for that. But it's always backward looking, never really forward looking. And to me, I personally feel it's not that I want a repeat to perform really, really, really well. We'll talk about the uh, rivalry with Lusk in a little bit. However, I feel that the Austrian league is a better league when Rapid is doing well. There is no doubt, 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 doubt about it. And I think one definitely has to point to the leadership of Rapid that Salzburg is winning that many titles. Because if they had their act well together, if this was a well-run club, and you can do this, by wedding tradition with a good concept. I'm absolutely convinced of that. You can do that. If they would be a better run club and not always using the excuse of Salzburg, this is a team that should have won at least one, if not two titles in the past 15 years. It is, I have to say it as clearly, Rapid should have won one or two championships. Yes, they finished twice a few times, but the last two times, I'm hard pressed to say that they were really the second best team in Austria. It was more or less that they got the results, especially against these guys. Now, Rapid and Lusk, the rivalry, I mean, there is a natural rivalry of the fan bases. As we said, Vienna, uh, Rapid Vienna fans are all from working class uh, roots, whereas Lusk fans a more from a conservative middle class to upper class um, following. So there is natural tension there. However, given the different status of these two teams, for most of their existence, Rapid Vienna did not look at Lusk. They looked at Lusk as a team to get a win against, and that was that. It's true, Lusk won their first and only championship because Rapid messed up on the last day of the season. So thank you for that. There were a few struggles here and there, uh, both recognize each other as traditional teams in Austria that uh, definitely belong in the first league. 
but Rapid Wien is never looking really at Lusk for guidance up until recently. And it was when Lusk got promoted back in, in the league, the president, of course, our president had nothing better to do to pee a little bit on the big tree that is Rapid Wien. And a rivalry ensued and the rivalry got really ugly, especially when Dietmar Kuba was coached at Rapid Wien. Lusk were at that point easily the second best team in Austria within a short period of time. However, they never performed well against Rapid. Dietmar Kübauer had it figured out how to beat Lusk. And it didn't really end until Dietmar Kübauer was then appointed in a, still a shock move as coach of Lusk. And yeah, meanwhile, let go. But at that point then it got a little bit more level again. But yeah, the rivalry, as I said, there is a natural tension in there. The rivalry is much more important for Lusk fans than it is for Rap Rapid fans. I would like to compare it roughly as the rivalry between Fiorentina and a potentially Juventus. I think this is kind of the class that we're speaking. I have to say on a pro personal level, winning against Rapid always feels like one of the most important wins that you can have in a season. Rapid fans will never say that, but it always feels good to beat them. There were a few memorable games, but I probably will talk about them in another video because I'm surely uh, will talk about Rapid again uh, because it is such a big team. So I will leave this for next time. However, for the first match of the season ahead of this one, it also has, as we said, because Lusk finished in a very comfortable third place ahead of Rapid and this is kind of the feeling going into this game and at the start of the season. Lusk fans are cautiously optimistic that you know you might close the gap. Rapid fans don't see that. It's very very down feeling at, Ra at, at, at Rapid at, at, at that moment because everyone feels it's not going well. But no one really has the clue, even the new ownership and leadership, no one really has the clue of how it should all be resolved that Rapid will go and claim their rightful place, at least in their opinion, in the Aust in Austria again. Again, uh, concluding, I have to say, I think Rapid is a humongous club and probably the only really prominent club in Austria that can also um, radiate out on an international level. Although Salzburg have done it uh, by pure achievement, but by if you think Austria, Club soccer, you usually think Rapid. It has to be said, they are that big. But they have been underachieving. And I think if they can find a way to wed the tradition with a clear concept, I think this could be a really, really successful club again. However, they have not been in quite a while. Not since the 1980s. And so I finished the video on repeat. Please let, let, me, let me know what you did know what I told you here. Or if you want to add any, anything, if you have any questions and, and so on, please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you soon more about other, game, other teams in Austria and about the games that are being played. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.